What's up guys, Steve Chen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have my friend Michael here. He just got his Helix 7, the G3N model. And it's coming with the side imaging, mega side imaging. And I got my Garmin Echomap UHD 73S V. That is also a, uh, the Garmin card UHD. That's also same with the Helix mega side imaging. Let's compare it side by side. Let's see the Helix 7. The box is pretty big. And the main unit, we have the transducer here. It should be noted the there's only the transducer here coming in, inside the box. And the wire. And the wire. And the wire. Yeah. The but the transducer mount, you have to purchase it, purchase it separately. Yeah, this is the hummingbird main unit. And if we take a look at the Garmin, uh, we have the main unit here. It seems it's smaller, but actually the screen size is the same, like seven inch. Because the Garmin is a touch screen unit, so it doesn't have the so much button on that. On the back, we have the same thing here. I like the covers, to be honest. Okay, let's see the transducer here. Same here, the transducer mount, you have to purchase it separately. But the size you can see, it's pretty big. It's bigger than the one on the Helix 7. I'm not sure how the quality, I mean imaging quality, compares to the Garmin one. The Garmin does come with uh, additional small stuff, like the this one for the mounting your transducer on the back of the boat. And this is the part you need to put your power cable. And this is the uh, bottom part for mounting your main unit, the screen. This one, I guess, is for the boat. I'm not sure, I don't have a boat. Also the screws. And this part for the fixing the power cable, I guess. And you have stuff like this for sealing. And this is very good. This is for the uh, trolling motor transducer mount. You have the bottom part where you put your transducer on it. And you have the metal part to securely place it on your trolling motor. And additionally, you have a screen protection here. This cover is pretty good. You can get it like uh, 20 bucks at Best Pro, but it just come inside the box. I would say these two models are the most popular ones. Like uh, you have the seven inch, you have all you need, the side imaging, uh, mega side imaging or UHD. Oh, hi Michael, what do you think uh, the Helix 7 has the, some feature you like? Uh, one feature I like is that um, you can hook this up to your Bluetooth on your phone. So you don't have to constantly be looking at your phone if you're fishing if you're texting with somebody because you can text, you can receive and send texts from here. Great. And this does come with the mapping and the waypoint function, yep. right? Yep. Okay. But it's not touch screen, so that's the downfall. Yeah. But this is pretty easy to navigate. Easy navigation yep. here. Yep. Okay, I've been using my unit. I really like the touch screen because you can like touch wherever you want mm -hmm. and you don't have so many buttons on the side. So the unit is looks smaller, but it's good on the kayak. Yep. And I don't think we have the Bluetooth connection function here, but I guess I don't need it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you're fishing. Yeah. Okay, I guess in the future, me and Michael will do a comparison side by side on the water. We'll see the uh, side imaging and down imaging quality. I guess that's it. That's it. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Thank you.